What's up, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, 12 3000. Um, sitting alongside my boy, Mr. Phillips, the change agent. The kids over there watching uh, Trolls. And we're working on uh, lower ball joints for a 2003 Dodge Ram. And the reason we're making this video is just because we ran into a problem where the tool kit that we rented from AutoZone, which you can go rent a tool kit and they'll reimburse you your money when you bring it back, um, didn't seem to quite fit at first and we were running into just various problems um so what we did was this is <laughs> this is my breaker bar just so you know it's about three and a half about four feet and it came off my jack stand this is the best thing in the world just slides off the jack stand and you can use it to break all kind of big things but um so the, the kit that we borrowed from AutoZone came with um, several little adapters. Oh. It came with several little adapters and um, we didn't know which one would fit. We ran into a problem where the small one, of course, was way too small to fit over the ball joint and be pressed out. The second one is like this kit, goddamn. <laughs> This third one, second one, I don't know if you can see, but it would slide over the majority of the ball joint, but then it would get stuck right here at this lip. And that's um, a no no. You needed to slide up over that lip in order for the ball joint to be pressed down while this is being, um, while this is holding on to the lower control arm. But either way, they, those didn't fit. We thought this third one was too big, and we did a lot of YouTube videos, we did some searching. And everybody was talking about how they cut into the control arm in order to make um, to give more bite for this bigger one to actually uh, securely sit on the control arm without sliding off. But um, and it looks greasy because we sprayed it with some uh, PB blaster earlier. But what we did was we actually used the largest one. The model number on it is 27023-3-G. I don't know if that matters, but. It's just a kit from AutoZone. We used the larger one and we just placed it on there with the uh, with the whole tool set up. And I actually use a large socket wrench. I don't know what size that is. What size? Is that? I don't know. I just use a large socket wrench and put on the end of the screw instead of one of these brackets, one of these braces, because these big braces, which you're supposed to put on the end of the big screw, won't really push down on your your uh, ball joint because of this area right here. This lip and this area was it was conflicting. So I couldn't put that in there and push down on it. So I used a big, uh, big uh, deep socket wrench on the end of the screw to give it a little bit more su surface tension. And I used the largest cup setting, or the largest of the three cup, uh, three receivers. And where is it at? Use my, my big old, uh, half inch ratchet and uh, 7 8 deep socket on the top and then of course I went and got my I didn't even name them I got two of them come over these days yeah I got to name these bad boys so um, use my so uh, my breaker bar and what I did was I held this in place just hold it with your hands in place while you slowly pull on um, while you slowly ratchet down onto the uh to the ball joint just slowly and it will bite i don't know why people are saying it's not enough bite but there's enough bite just put it just put it in there it'll bite i don't know if you can see the surface area how much uh, how much is being covered but it will bite and if you just do it slowly and um just make sure it doesn't slide off and it'll slowly but surely push that ball joint out so right now Trolls came out. Trolls came. Oh, it's going off? Yeah. Alright, we'll put something else on. Alright, give me one second. Can I watch Mars? Mars. Who? Mars. Mars. Okay, I'll pull it up. What's that? Oh, it's, it's on, on YouTube? It's a, it's a movie. It's a movie. Mars gotcha. It's a movie. It's a movie. Okay. So I'm slowly ratcheting down on this ball joint, and it's pushing it through. Oh, yeah, mind you, before, on, the, on our RAM, on this uh, 2003, we had to take off this lock ring. So you might have to take off this lock ring. Just use, I just use some um, little tiny, a little tiny flathead and some needle nose, and I, I just did whatever I had to do to get it off. We're not going to need this one because the new one that's going on, 
doesn't even use it. it doesn't use the lock ring at all so don't be discouraged by the lock ring up top or the the little lip that it leaves behind it will slide right into the the hole at your um lower control arm so i'm just slowly ratcheting this thing and i'm not even tripping anymore because we were kind of stressing earlier jameson here i'm not even tripping anymore because here jameson there it goes oh shoot it just came out yeah it's out that's it man so now that i got it out i can show you guys what i used to get it out so on the bottom we use the um the, whichever one would actually it's the only one that would allow the, the ball joint to slide into it and then we use the largest the largest receiving cup and this is a little screwdriver i use for this lock pin so we use the largest receiver cup put it like that and on this other end this is a 7 8 deep socket that i put no that's not the right socket that's not even fitting okay where did it go just that quick is that the oh, big right one that fell in here yeah uh it's uh one and one sixteenth it's gigantic so it slides right over this here, this Jameson. big screw and so that's the setup and then we just screw down onto the top of the um we just screw down onto the top of the ball joint until it popped out so there you go use the, the, the key was this big deep socket on yeah top. wow because see it's it's pretty much the same oh we did have a um uh, input plug for grease right here, but we knocked it off by banging on it with a hammer earlier on. But that, it, it actually worked out in our favor because now this area fit right inside this hole and it, aligned, it allowed it to not really move while we screwed down on it. So get rid of that. You don't need it. And that's that. That's our setup. This right there. These pieces. And it's out. <laughs>